Hello my fellow party people. I hope you are all doing good. Today we are going to talk about facts and Morton Granau's progressive Psytrance. Something in the style of this. And this. Alright. Nice. Let's get into our DAW. Starting off by creating this super punchy, short, kick drum. And pretty common in this genre, you add a simple short hi-hat on top of the kick for the transient clicky sound. After that I created that short clicky psi bass. Envelope 2 really short connected to the cutoff filter to get this bouncy short bass. I use multiband saturation on almost everything. This allows me to make the overall sound louder without it distorting. Already sounds fat. I think it was Sultan and Shepard that said you know it's a good song when you can let just the kick and bass play alone, and it still sounds good. For the second drop I knew I wanted to have some clicking rolling side trance bass so I created this one. For the mix of kick and bass I try to archive ATL East minus 7 dB and my general mix about minus 3 to minus 3.5 dB headroom for the mastering, but don't only mix by eyes, also mix by ears, and best on some good monitors. A that sounds good to me. Really nice clicky deep rolling bass. So as always music is about keeping it interesting and putting in some variations, so I found that little saw glide sound which was perfect. It's really the simple and small things in tracks, that makes it interesting. So, also common for progressive trances to put a pluck or any higher sound on top of the bass to get it a little more melodic.
So that's it for the kick and bass. Let's get into the intro. I created that pad which is almost playing through the whole track. I played around with the cutoff and the sidechain intensity. Because I knew I'll keep the pad also in the drop I cut it at the low end. Pads usually need lot of space in the mix, keep that in mind. Then I added this re-space following the root notes. So and to get it even a little bit more melodic and atmospheric I created this piano chord progression and little melody. So, then I created this little piano chord shots, bounce them into place and reverse them. We will use them as transition sounds throughout the song. These things you can also hear in a lot of facts and Morton Granau songs, and the song gets that warm round smooth feeling. By the way you can bounce into place if you mark the sound you want as wave and press Ctrl Alt and C.
and a little pluck melody. and that little white noise sound which plays between the kick and bass to add groove. Then I added these offbeat hi-hats and automated the decay to get that additional groove. short and punchy snare with some variations. Additional perks for the groove. And another pad sounds which works the same way as the reversed piano. So, almost done. I really wanted to have some vocal in the second part. Then I found these little adlips with different tonalities. I reversed them and cut them as I wanted them. Then I put the gross beat trance gate on top. Gates are pretty come on inside trance and trance in general. Yeah. 
Second drop pluck simple rhythm. We need enough space for the kick and rolling bass. And that chord pluck shot with a lot of delay you can hear in a lot of their tracks. White noise, risers, downlifters and crashes. Nice let's listen to the end result.
Ta-da!